Now at eight, an anxious community demanding action after a flower delivery person is shot and killed in Oakland. Thank you for joining us tonight on Crown 4 News at 8. I'm Pam Moore. And I'm Grant Lotus in for Ken Wayne tonight. This shooting was caught on surveillance cameras. It provides a close-up view of the suspect, but no arrests have been made. Crown 4's Teresa Estacio reports. Newly obtained surveillance video captures the moments leading up to the deadly shooting in Oakland's Koreatown. The video shows a man delivering flowers in front of the Telegraph Arts Apartments last Wednesday evening at 6.30 when a man and a woman walking dogs pass by. It appears a confrontation takes place. The male dog walker seems to try and hit the delivery man who then throws the bouquet. That is when the dog walker pulls a gun, shoots the delivery man, and takes off. Cron4 News has learned that the victim is 27-year-old Mateus Gados from Brazil. On social media, his friends and family say that he was a kind and calm person who came to the United States to escape violence in his home country. And that's the thing we have to realize. That could be any one of us going about our day, going on our job, and then just stepping on a toe or brushing into someone or I don't know and then that's it. Courtney Russell works for Koreatown Northgate Oakland, an organization committed to help local businesses and residents thrive in the community. Russell says that they have put up more than 60 cameras to help police solve crimes but now the agency and other residents are torn up. It brings me to tears to think like I saw this man like on his job and within 10 seconds he was dead. I don't even know what to say, like. Russell says that she was born and raised in Oakland and is discouraged to see the escalation of violence. We cannot allow this to continue to feel like they're in control. There's a lot of good people that live in Oakland that want to live their lives and be productive and fruitful and don't want to feel like any time they get out of their car, there's a potential for them to be assaulted or their car broken into or be killed. We reached out to council member Carol Fife, whose district is where this killing took place. She sent us this statement, quote, this was a deeply tragic loss of life stemming from a verbal altercation. The Oakland Police Department's homicide investigation team has identified a suspect and has notified next to kin. My heart goes out to the victim's family and friends. I'm confident that the homicide team will close out this senseless, violent act swiftly and successfully, end quote. Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.